Hey, what's up and welcome on this very exciting tutorial that we're going to make today. Today we're going to learn how to prepare our 3D objects that we found on the web for the great plugin Element 3D for Adobe After Effects and in this example we're going to work with these cubes. And the fact when you download 3D objects around the web is that sometimes uh, they might come like in this scene and you've got mainly two different kind of objects uh, the first kind of object that you can find is this one with only one mesh if I go here in my list objects so here we're working with 3ds Max but you're going to understand the basic idea and 3ds Max is a great program you should buy it uh, to make your own scenes in Adobe After Effects it's a great tool and in this case here we've got this companion cube and it's only one object and I've got this second cube here and if I select this one here you can see that the cube on the left is composed by many different elements but if I import this scene as an OBJ file in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D that's what we're going to do here and that's what I've done before as you see I've got my two cubes uh, that have been imported by Element 3D but my problem is that I only have two textures I've got my mat one and my default one which correspond each one for a cube and the reason for that is that 3ds Max uh, if we go in the material editor here you can see in your material editor if you scroll down because maybe it might come like that with the maps you can scroll down here and here you've got your scene materials and here you can see that we've got only two materials and that's the reason why in Adobe After Effects then we, we find these two materials so when we know that how can we maybe do the scene that I've done in my scene right here as you can see I've got my cubes and I've been able to place textures uh, even on the edges here I've got been able to cut my objects entirely and made different textures that appear in Element 3D and to do that basically what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to work uh, that way I'm going to show you the base file that uh, we're going to be working on here is the final file so here you can see that I've got a cube and I've been able to uh, cut that object in different elements for example if I take the ring so it's written in French this word here mean heart and this one here mean ring so if we take this ring right here I can then maybe maximize this viewport and you can see here that this ring has been selected as one object and then what we have done and what we're going to do is that we're going to apply to this ring a texture and then in Adobe After Effects when I import my OBJ file that I'm going to create uh, with 3ds Max uh, in my OBJ file I can find my rings, I can find the inner circles and then I can texture my whole object so that in my scene it appears well well uh, textured and that's a good way uh, because when you find 3d objects on a web on Turbo Squid or even the 3d models uh, maybe sometimes you can be a bit disappointed when you import them in Adobe After Effects and using 3ds Max is a great way to uh, improve your 3d objects and even when you've got only one mesh file and that's what we're going to do in this tutorial right now so here we go I'm going to open the project uh, with my base file it means that it's only one cube, it has only one texture and if I import this one object using the export function of 3dx max here and export, export then um, give a name to my file and if that I import that in my scene in Adobe After Effects Element 3D as you can see over there my cube comes with one texture for the entire block and it's only one object so what we're going to do is that we're going to cut that object in different pieces and we're going to give him different textures even on the edges so that is going to be more realistic for our scene and to do that we use 3ds Max and I will be releasing a version of this tutorial for Cinema 4D in the weeks to come so here we are in 3ds Max and let's say that you have one mesh object just like here if I go to my uh, select menu here you can see that I just have one object it's one big mesh and what about if I'd like to make just another object uh, for the inner part of my art on this cube here 
Well, maybe I could right click on my mesh and I'm going to convert this mesh to an editable mesh. And then I'm going to select the polygon here on the right and I'm going to left click on the inner part of my heart and I'm going to right click and I'm going to detach that object and I'm going to call to give this object the name that is going to have uh, in Elements 3D. So maybe I'm going to call that heart inner one and I'm going to give a number for each part of my uh, cube it means that this side would be the side one the other one the side two and then you can organize yourself properly so hot here on one I'm going to hit OK and now what I can see is that in my select from scene menu here I've got my heart inner part here which is uh, just one object right now and I can go then to my material editor right here Right here, I can see the materials in my scene. It means that I've got my cube entire block. Remember, in Adobe After Effects, in my scene setup here, I've got my cube, and I just add one texture. It was this cube entire block texture that you've got here, and in 3ds Max, right here. So what I'm gonna do with my uh, inner part selected here, I'm going to delete uh, this uh, texture here. It doesn't delete the texture from the scene, it, de it just de delete that from the view. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select a new standard st uh, texture here. I'm going to drag that on my view 1 here. And I'm going to double click on the title here and I'm going to give it the name of my inner... and that's right and now you can hit enter and you just have to assign material to the selection it means that with your object selected you just have to assign the texture so now you can see in the material editor again if you go to your scene materials you can see that you've got your art inner one and maybe we're going to add another texture for the exterior part of my heart here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hit H on my keyboard, I'm going to select the entire cube, which is not cut yet, and I'm going to... it's already converted to an ETA table mesh, so don't change anything. Uh, select polygon, and you're going to click on the exterior part of your heart, or of the object that you are cutting. You're going to right click here, you're going to detach that, you're going to name that heart exterior one and remember one uh, corresponds to the face of the cube that we are going to be working on hit OK so now I can hit H on my keyboard I got my heart exterior one here I can double click on that I can go to my material editor and I'm going to delete the art inner uh, that we've created earlier and I'm going to create a new one for the exterior part so scroll that up, select standard, double click on the title, rename that and assign that to the selection. So now you can see if you scroll that down that in your scene materials which corresponds to the scene materials that you're going to find back in Adobe After Effects Elements 3D you've got your art inner and your art exterior. So now what we can do well, maybe we could cut the entire object, but in this tutorial we don't have the time. We're going to export that right now into Element 3D using the export function here. So you're going to export that in Element 3D, so select the folder in your hard drive, give it the name that you want, in our case Portal Cube Tutorial Example, and we're going to hit OK. We're going to save that. Uh, here you don't have to change anything, just hit export. And now you can go back in Element 3D and we're going to delete that tutorial base export cube. We're going to import the new one, which is Portal Cube Tutorial Example. And now you can see in uh, Element 3D that I've got my cube and I've got my texture for the inner part of my face 1. It means that if I hide this part, I just have to find which part it is on the cube and as you can see now I got my part, I can make it appear here, I got the exterior and what this means now is that these objects can now have their own textures as you can see, maybe you could add 
something maybe pink for the interior of the heart and in the exterior you can make it shiny then you just have to make your own adjustments and you've got the basic ID so now we can cut the entire cube and we can give him the texture that we want for each part that we can edit in 3ds max so now your cube is ready to be composited in your real 3d world and you can do great things so this is a basic way to prepare your 3D objects for Element 3D. I hope this tutorial was useful and maybe if you got questions don't hesitate to ask me in the comments and I recommend you to subscribe to this channel or maybe to go on my Facebook page and to like it so that you're going to see all the tutorials and the upcoming work. Thank you and have a great day!